Does this count as another secret project? Turns out the Stormlight Archive tabletop role-playing game has secretly been a full Cosmere role-playing game all along. Which, honestly, we should have been expecting. The license for the crafty games Mistborn RPG lapsed last year, and given that everything in the Cosmere fundamentally functions by the same rules, building the game that way from the start just makes sense. Because of that, this isn't a one-and-done release. This is a living RPG, which is planned to be continually supplemented as Brandon continues to write. They've already teased plans for future releases, including Elantris, Warbreaker, White Sand, and Worldhopper editions. Is the Worldhopper going to bring together all the random little planets, so we get Spores, AVR, Shades, Yokihijo, and the like, as well as Aeon Door, Awakening, and Sand Mastery? <laughs> That'd be cool. These releases are in-depth, with multiple books helping players get familiar with each world. A world guide explaining all the flora, fauna, peoples, and cultures of Roshar, which I think basically fulfills the general fandom wish for a Stormlight encyclopedia and or coffee table book, and a player's handbook going into the mechanics of everything, and an exclusive canonical adventure written by Brandon and Dan Wells which is going to lead up to Stormlight 5, filling in some plot holes. <laughs> Plus a Scadrial handbook and world guide, which must talk about both eras and continents, given that the adventure book will be jumping between the two. The amount of art and lore we're about to get is incredible. I'll be making a rules breakdown in a different video, so let's talk about how you can join in. But first, thank you to my patrons! Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's Butt, Moochie, Chris, Mithi Carone, Gallant Aegis, and the Son of James. I'm looking into doing some patron-exclusive one-shots when these are released. Join now! There are seven different levels you can back at, depending on how committed you are to collecting or how much of a store you are. Sorry, future me. We have no money! Top tier is specifically for retailers, where for $400 you can get four sets of the Stormlight RPG books, including the Handbook, World Guide, and Stonewalker's Adventure, plus four each of the dice sets, item and plot decks, and Game Master screens, and two retailer event kits, which sound intriguing. That's exclusively for brick-and-mortar game stores, so I'll have to go ask We Geek together what's in the event kit. Top tier for us plebeians is The Collector for 385, and it includes all three Stormlight books, a set of basic dice, a set of pretty liquid core dice, the Stormlight GM screen, a new minis pack with characters and Roshar specific creatures, the plot decks, which are specific to use with the system plot die, the item deck, which shows cool gear, punch board tokens, which include everything in the world guide, cool, 12 different battle maps, the level zero guide and module, and PDFs of all the books, which of course also includes the hard copies of the Mistborn Handbook, World Guide, and Legacy Adventure shipping in 2026. All of those individual items are also available as add-ons, which you can access by just pledging a dollar. Add-ons are also the only way to get the previous sets of character minis from the 2022 Kickstarter, as well as the larger painted figurines of Adolin, Kaladin, Dalinar, Yasna, Shallan, and Zeth. Those are also available on the Dragonsteel Books website, as well as the paint set, bridge display stand, shard bearer, army builder, and bonus character packs, and the Clashing Storm statue. I know some people really wanted that statue. It's there. Buy it. Add-ons are also where you can upgrade to enhanced digital versions of the rulebooks on Demiplane, Roll20, or Fantasy Grounds, either individually as a set of four with the Stormlight and Mistborn World Guides and Handbooks, or a set of six, including the Stonewalkers and Mistborn Legacy Adventures. If you just want digital stuff, like if shipping would kill you otherwise, you can also just get the fancy digital versions of either of those two platforms without needing to get print versions. If you want everything to run your own Cosmere RPG but don't need fancy minis or fancier dice, for $2.95 you can get the Game Master tier, which includes all the books, decks, tokens, and maps with a basic die set. If you're going to let someone else do the world building, the Player tier for $1.95 gets you the Stormlight and Mistborn world guides and handbooks, a basic dice set, and the plot deck. If you're not interested in playing but just want to keep up on the lore and pretty art, 
or if you want to stay on a single planet, the Reader tier will get you the Stormlight and Mistborn World Guides, or any two hardcover books for $95. And if the shipping is too much, the e-reader tier gets you any two PDF versions for $60. All the printed books are only in English, but the PDFs are also available in Spanish. They've already revealed a few stretch goals as well. Everyone will be getting a sort of intro to Stormlight 24-page booklet, either PDF or physical, depending on your tier. And for the player tier and higher, we'll get an additional plot die in Lifelight Green. Plus, all the physical books will now be gilded with foiled covers and a ribbon bookmark exclusive to the Kickstarter editions. So if you're thinking of getting these eventually, getting them now gets them fancier. Plus, they just announced everybody will get a PDF of the Bridge 9 beta adventure, with physical copies going to Game Masters, Collectors, and if you get the Roshar Pack add-on. Because of the functional two separate releases with Stormlight and Mistborn, shipping will be occurring in two waves. With all the Stormlight stuff going out beginning September of next year, and all the Mistborn stuff shipping September 2026. Shipping costs actually seem a lot more reasonable than previous crowdfunding campaigns have been, topping out at an estimated $75 for South America, rather than the 230 cost from the words of Radiance Leatherbounds. Digital rewards, like the PDFs of all the books, should be released near the beginning of July 2025 for Stormlight and 26 for Mistborn. So around the time Isles of the Ember Dark comes out next year. And don't forget, there's still the Mistborn deck building game coming out later this year, which had great reviews at Gen Con, as well as the Shards of Creation card game. It's a good time to be a gamer. And if that's not enough, there are even more games being crowdfunded by other members of the Cosmere community. An expansion to the excellent Golden Grog is currently underway, created by the husband of Melinda, that Cosmere chick and backed by Dragonsteel. And the Frog Legions, a magic-esque frog battling game by Peter of Cosmere Considered. Look familiar? And since I'm mentioning Kickstarters, I've got a buddy from high school with an excellent mimic dice chest that needs some more love. There's amazing stuff out there. Go buy and find out. Hey, Daniel Green, can I play this RPG with you.